welcome back to the Rubicon Show. We are giving a Steppen update. We have been, oh, I've had a shoe for a couple of weeks now, maybe three weeks. Can't say I've been running every day, but I will tell you what my plans are now. Uh, we've been talking about the Ponzonomics and if this thing is going to come tumbling down uh, any more than it already has. And uh, just give you our opinion on if you're starting or even have your own shoe, how you can make the most money from it. Yeah, I'm also, after looking at a couple of these numbers, looking to just get one because it'll help me be more active and also yeah honestly before we jump into my screen that is one of the biggest things is a cross section between uh having people actually want to do the activity that this encourages and i feel like that's a really good thing to prop up the uh the ponzi the short-term ponzi and try and scale it into something that's uh less ponzi like so sharing my screen over here yeah one thing with the ponzi like again we keep calling it a ponzi um I'm shocked that the bear market didn't kill this off. That's yes. something that I'm shocked by, which I've seen before, is anything that's sort of propped up by its own ecosystem. People get money out and more people don't come in, which they've managed to survive somehow. 100%. I agree with that. They've survived it very well. If we go over to their governance token, uh, which is GMT, that's at the top trending coin at the moment, uh, it's just under a billion dollars. So it's, it's maintained a lot of value, uh, although of course it's down from its um, all-time highs. But the Steppen team, uh, they sort of want to put a lot of value into their governance token. And they're obviously they recognize at that moment they're a total Ponzi scheme, uh, which is not technically a bad thing if you can transition out of it and become more sustainable. And there's also, there's a for anyone who's like, well, why is it a Ponzi scheme? I, I guess there is a distinction between being a Ponzi scheme and having Ponzonomics. Mm -hmm. And essentially meaning uh, Steppen can't sustain themselves unless there's more and more money coming into the market um, to buy their shoes, which at the moment there is, and it's doing very well. They've done uh, really well to limit how many people are actually getting into the app. Uh, they only have a thousand codes a day that they put out. Um, and then you have to basically earn the rest of the codes. Uh, and the other thing that they're doing, which we'll get into, is they're switching their tokenomics to really help burn through GST when it's needed. This is the rewards token, uh, the in-game token that you earn when you actually uh, go for a run or go for a walk. They're trying to bring this down in order to have people not making tens of thousands of dollars and then the NFTs being priced at tens of thousands of dollars and then everyone just like cashing into USD and running. They want it to be, cool, how much money would you actually go for a run for? And they probably want to that pay that minimum viable amount. Um, but yeah, you can see they have sustained that, uh, that bear market. They did get down to $2.30. But uh, the one uh, mechanic that they've recently implemented is when you breed shoes now, it's a combination of GST and GMT. And the ratio of GST to GMT is 100% dependent on what the actual relationship is in with their tokens. So they have price targets in mind and they're manipulating these figures in order to get people to spend more GST when they want the price to go up and spend less GST when they want the price to go down. So, and as we said in the, the main video, if you haven't seen that, we'll link it up in the description below. We know that Steppen do not want this to be a Ponzi. They're doing everything in their ability and it's the closest thing uh, away, the, the furthest thing away from a Ponzi that we've currently seen in these sort of DeFi and play to earn and, uh, what is it? and move to earn move economies. To earn, yeah. Um, so they're doing an exceptional job. They don't want this to be a Ponzi and they seem to be moving away from it. However, they are on the Solana ecosystem and Sol. And, and the BSC, the Binance Smart Chain, they're on both. They're on both. Um, I'm on the Sol ecosystem and this has halved since I got into it. So if I go to one year, uh, I got in at $100 down here. You can see it was actually at 200, 250 at one point in time, but it's halved, meaning the shoe prices have technically halved unless they've they've gone up um, in terms of the amount that's per shoe, but they haven't. So the shoe prices are now half. Uh, and yes, the re rewards are about half as well. But for me, if you're betting on this ecosystem long-term, it's a really cheap price point to get in. Now, please don't get in unless you really don't need the money because it is a ecosystem that really rewards you spending more and more and more in order to earn more. And it takes a while to actually get your money out. So unless you think this is going to be around for three months and you're going to build it up and then cash out, please be careful with what you put in. For me personally, I don't mind so much. I prefer the experience of actually walking and running and using these protocols and experiencing them so that I'm well-educated. I can talk about it to you guys. And then when the next one comes out, we can jump on that as well. As well as I'm running a marathon in six weeks. 
So this is great for me, even though it's only 10, 20 minutes of running, it gets me moving, it gets me uh, out there. So um, don't don't see this as more as a big financial investment, but see this as something you want to do and something fun that's going to encourage you to do it. Um, I think instead of getting into the energy system just yet, I would like to just give an overview real quick of like the sneakers. Uh, at the moment, the base entry of a step, step in sneaker is roughly 12 sol, and that's roughly $600 if you put it into USD, which earns you, could be wrong, uh, around $15 a walk or run a day. Well, you get five GST and the current price of GST is, as we just saw, th- right on $3, $2.98. So that's 15 US. Of course, you have to minus your shoe repair costs, which depending on your resilience of your shoe, maybe factor in $3 yep. there. Um, Ben's shoe, he has a shoe that's roughly worth, um, what's that, 24 sole? Uh, yes, it is worth 24. And he gets per 20 minute run a day, he has four energy, which nets you $36. Yes, 36 US uh, and then obviously minus shoe repair, so maybe 30. And then so now he's looking at these figures. I'm looking at these figures and it seems like you need to go for how many days is that? Uh, 20, uh, 40 days? 40 days. And then you get your the price of your shoe back. The but, GST holds stable. But with those calculations as well, remember you still own your shoe. So yeah. if your shoe price stays stable, you've doubled your money. If your shoe price goes down 50%, you've made 50% on your money. Um, and so now getting into what the energy and the thing you were talking about before, uh, you can see the amount of, and this is what step and do really well is they cap your earnings, they cap your energy, they cap everything and make you actually burn GST or GMT in order to create more. Uh, this one you actually buy with soul. Funny enough, you, you'd think that they you could buy sneakers with their in-game token, but no, that's still coming. Um, I've got one sneaker and because it's a common, you can see if you own anything above a common, you get bonuses down here, which also could be a play for you. But for me, if I can pick up two sneakers for 1200 US, I can double the amount that I could run, which encourages me to actually go out and run more than I'm running, which is fantastic. But then I actually, uh, because I'm running twice as much, I can earn twice as much. So instead of making $36, I'll make $72 at its current valuation. I'm also prepared for this to go down. Uh, but if I'm making $72 a day and it only costs me um, $1,200 to actually upgrade that, it seems to be a, a, an investment that's well worth it. So it's a bonus $36, a total of $70, uh, which once again will be about 40 days, uh, just under maybe 35 days for me to actually see that return at 100% return if the shoe maintains its price. Uh, and then also there's something which we haven't touched on, which basically negates all that money you earned if you breed and mint. Yep. Uh, again, that's a little more complex, which I think we'll probably test out before we bring it to you guys to see how it works. And then we can actually show you the results, maybe screen record the breeding process if they show us any X-rated content. And then oh, show yes. you guys. We'll make sure we blow that for you guys. Yeah. Um, nobody needs to see the shoes minting. Um, but also uh, at the moment, one of my friends who's deep into this, he says he makes about 100 to $150 per shoe mint, um, which is a little bit of bonus cash. Um, and if you see, like Tristan, you've pointed out before, the, on the floor, the, depending on how each shoe can mint seven babies mm-hmm. and each baby shoe that you mint gets more expensive as you go along the line. And the first two are the cheapest and that's where you make 100 to $150. The tokenomics have not extended past that yet. So it's not at the moment very profitable to mint anything else. Some people I believe do it for the gamble because you can get an uncommon or a rare sort of sneaker uh, and make a lot of money. Um, but uh, at the moment, uh, you basically don't want to mint it up to two to get that sort of profit and then, then sell that. And that's why all the ones that are selling all have uh, two mints to them. Yeah, and so obviously not recommending getting into this but if you are looking at getting into it i would recommend scrolling past the floor to just leave that opportunity open for you in the future if you did want to start reading or minting new shoes so just look for the zero or the one mint because they are much cheaper cool. uh, cheaper to mint not um cheaper yeah, to buy, if you're in it for the long term get that if you're thinking you're just going to suss it out and you want to spend as little money as possible because it all could go tumbling down in the next month get the cheapest shoe which does make the cheapest shoe, shoe cheaper as well which is yes awesome yeah. Let us know how you're going. Um, join our Discord. We've got a lot of Steppen people in there. And if you want us to do any specific video on any Steppen features that's coming out, or I know they've got a few things proposed. Uh, so we're staying in the loop because this really is at the cutting edge of a sustainable um, move to earn project. Uh, we're enjoying our time. We're enjoying getting fit. And hopefully we get to see uh, Tristan out on the streets as well. One quick thing before we go. Uh, we did warn against uh, copycats as such as Biken 
and someone in our Discord did say they did get scammed from the exit plan of Biken. So please be careful of oh, wow. all the copycats and do your research before investing. Very good. See you in the next one.